Hello everybody, I'm here just outside the small tunnel and behind me are my two companion planting beds and the aim of these two beds this year is to see what food I can get out whilst protecting the crops and diversifying them and what I actually get out. So I'll just reposition the camera and I'm going to do some work on them today so we'll get cracking. So, so far on these beds, a quick recap, I've put six wigwams up, I've joined them all up because I'm wanting to run flowers across them all. These first two wigwams, I've planted sweet peas at the base and I've just left them. They now need tying in, which I will do over the next day or three, so that they can start growing up these trellis. And this should give a wonderful scent when I walk through, although you won't be able to appreciate it on the video. Uh, I will be and I'll be able to harvest the flowers and take home and put in the vase. I've got some a mix of onions at various places around here and some shallots as well. Not sure which is where or what. And I've got some um, peas there. I think they're blauschocker. And I've just hurriedly tied them in so that they can start growing up because they're growing away. Lovely now. And over on the other bed, much the same. I think these are shallots down here and over there and some more onions at this end. I'm going to be growing beans up these trellis along with some other things and we're going to get on with it now. Now I'm going to sow some seeds into this bed I think today, get these done on video and then I'll do the other bed on another day not on video and I've got some more plants and things to go in here and this will be the theme with this bed all year as things come out I want to be able to put other things in or have other things growing that will expand into that space. So that's the idea. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work, but for the minute plants are growing and I've got plants to go in, so let's crack on. Now I've got this space between the onions and the peas and that was deliberate because I want to sow some carrots in between here. This is a no dig bed and all I've done this morning is just raked it up. A little bit of weed in to be honest. Not too bad the weeds in, in this bed so far but then it's only a couple of weeks since I've been here so a couple of drills along the straight edge then you can see where you've sown make sure you take out weeds rather than your plants and so I'm going to put carrots in here two different varieties and I think this first one is Berlicum 2 these produce a nice reasonable size fat carrot and I'm just going to palm sow these in down here and then I'll cover them in the compost and then it's important with carrots to make sure that they're kept moist. Not soaked, but moist. And I'll just cover them over. And I'll do the same with this one. This one's another one. Uh, this is a variety called Touchon and this is new to me this year. Supposedly it stores better, lasts better in the ground it's sweeter to eat, we'll see, but I'll give them a go. Very quickly you could sow quite big areas of seed when your palms sow like this. So there we go, that's those done. I'll just try and mark the end of these rows. I can come back and put a proper label in later. But there we go, that's that done. I'm going to sow another patch up there as well in a few minutes. I'm going to do some planting now. I've got some plants to actually go in, in the ground. So we'll get on with that next. Now, I wasn't intending to put one of these into this companion bed out here, but I've got the plant available, it's free. So I'm going to put it in. This is tomato crimson crush. Put the rest in in my polytunnel just a few days ago. I've got two plants available left over. So I'm going to put one in each bed and just see how it does outside. I mean, it, 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 these are bred for out, outdoor growing, so it should be fine. It's just whether my climate up here so far north is suited to it. I have grown them outside before with relative success. So it'd be interesting to see how it does in comparison to everything else I'm growing. Now I've got some more 
flowers here. These are cobia, the cup and saucer plants, and they're climbers. And the idea is I want them to climb up and over and along these bits that are running across the top of these teepees. Bit of weed. So I'm going to put them in fairly close to the teepee so that they can scramble up it. And I'm going to put one in per teepee, maybe two, we'll see. So that one's for over there. So, yeah, hopefully that will, will scramble up and we'll get some nice flower show off it. And while we're here, I've got a nice tray of nasturtiums here. I want to grow these up if I can as well. So I'm going to put a couple of plants in there, I think. And we'll just see how well they grow. I'm putting a couple up because one could grow up the TB, TP with the sweet peas through it and along. And the other could actually grow up the tomato. Or they could scramble along the floor. Either way, I'm not so bothered. But these leaves and the flowers are edible. So they could go into a salad. So that's contributing to the food factor of these beds. And again, nasturtiums are going to go right through this bed. And these will also appear elsewhere on the plot later. Now these are a type of marigold. Um, they're called tajits or tajities, or however you want to pronounce it. And that's the flower you get on them. Tiny little things. But I grow these with my tomatoes indoors and it helps protect against aphids and white flies. So I'm going to put one of these, maybe a couple, next to my tomato. And again, it will just add to that overall look of the bed. And hopefully with the plants working with each other to protect each other and make a worthwhile growing space where I can get some food out and some harvests. So you can see now just a few plants put in this little area. Got climbers that are going to go up and scramble plants. These tajits will come out in a big dome sort of thing. Tomatoes flying up, sweet peas flying up. You know, this area is already just a little bit full. But, you know, we're going to continue like this down the bed, sowing a few more seeds in here, a few more carrot seeds, and then I'll surround those and just keep adding, layering up. With this little lot planted up here, I've put in three rows of carrot, all burlicum, down there, which leaves me with this little space. And I've got these strawberry plants here. So these are going to go in here. Again, add into the diversity of what I've got in here and hopefully what I can harvest as well. And hopefully we'll get something off these. This is the benefit of having plants ready to go. Just go and grab a tray or something out of the polytunnel and you're off and running. And there we go, that's that little area. And this little half of this bed is now full. Although, <laughs> I don't doubt that I'll be able to get something else in here. Certainly in the middle of those sweet peas, maybe something can go. But anyway, that's that little half of the bed done. We'll just flick the soil over these carrot seed. And I can give it all a good water now. There we go. Rather pleased with that. This is this bed now mostly full. There are still areas, and I know where I haven't put anything. I mean, I've sowed seeds down there, sowed seeds in the middle. And I will add other plants. I've got some marigolds in there, which I might put behind those peas, for example. So there's plenty for me to still do in here. And I've got to make sure it keeps watered, especially for these seeds that I've sown. 
but for now that's it i hope you enjoyed that look after yourselves everyone please stay safe i'll see you all very very soon Sarana.